Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. You deserve the glory and the honor. Tonight we lift our hands and worship as we praise your holy name. You deserve the glory. And the honor. Father, we lift our hands in worship as we praise you are great for you are great you're the miracle so great there is no one oh there is no one like you wave your hands and tell him there is no one there is no one hey, hey, hey. you are great you do miracle so great your hands and express your gratitude to the king of kings lord i thank you his presence is here lord thank you thank you for giving us the grace thank you for your power thank you for the ministry of the holy spirit Go ahead and thank him for wisdom. Thank you for grace. Mighty God. Mighty God. Thank him as a family of faith. For doing what only God can do. Lord we thank you. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you for the miracles. Come on, express your thanks and gratitude. You escape the edge of the sword. You escape the wickedness of men. He said, if the Lord had not been on our side, now may Israel say, Hallelujah. Let my life be the temple of your spirit. Let my spirit Feel the warmth of your embrace. Let me be a holy habitation where your spirit is pleased to dwell. 
Can we just take that part again? Let my life be the temple of your spirit. Let my spirit feel the warmth of your embrace. Let me be a holy habitation. Where your spirit is pleased to dwell. Is pleased to That's our desire. Oh Lord, I want to know your glory. I want to offer a sacrifice of praise. Pray for a few minutes in the spirit, will you? Sata pakata baliyaraba, manka baba baka prosaka teka teka baliyaraba bakata frakata baliyaraba mosha, manka paka prosaka teka, sapa baliyaraba kambre seka teka baliyaraba mosha, pra pa bati kata, kapra stepande cross ta baliyaraba basheka posh. We desire to know your glory. Shaka baliyaraba seka teka baliyaraba, le baliyaraba mosha, pra ta kabaliyaraba mosha, seka baliyaraba mosha prosa. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you tonight for the privilege. How many of you know it's always a privilege? It's always a privilege to worship and to bless his name. That's why we don't take it for granted. We never allow ourselves to be too familiar with his presence. Because in his presence, that's where we receive the miracles, the signs, the wonders. The transformations that only him can bring. I don't know why you're here tonight. But I need you to know that the Lord is here to bless you. And I believe. I am convinced. The Bible says they heard the word just like we did. But the word did not profit them. Not be mixed with faith. Lord I believe you. You cannot be joking with me. I believe you. I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe. Lift your hands and make this Lord, commitment. Say, Lord, you're too serious to be playing. When you say you will bless me, you mean it. When you say I'm the head, you mean it. I believe, Lord, I believe. When you say I'm anointed, you mean it. I believe. I believe. I believe. Yahweh. Yahweh. You are bigger, Lord. You are bigger than what people say. Yahweh. Sing it from your spirit. Yahweh. Yahweh. You are bigger, Lord. You are bigger than what people say. Yahweh. You 
You are bigger than what people say. Yeah. Yahweh, you are better than what people say. Yahweh, 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 we worship you. We worship you. We honor you. We worship you. Sing Yahweh. more time. Yahweh, 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 we honor you, we worship you, we worship you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You're the only one who can bless, can change, who can heal, and so we bless you. My faith reaches out to you. Do you believe tonight? I believe. Oh, yes. Your word for me. Let your faith reach out tonight. My faith reaches out to you. Focus on his ability. Your word. Your word. My faith is reaching out to you. My faith reaches out to you. I believe your word for me today. Hallelujah. Bible says there remaineth a rest for the people of God. It says the nation of Israel could not enter their rest because of unbelief. He said today if you hear his voice, harden not your heart as it were in the days of the provocation in Israel. He said let us therefore labor to enter that rest. He said for he that is entered into his rest is ceased from his work. He that has entered into his rest ceased from his work. Oh, we believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good evening, everybody good to see us walk around to 10 people give them a big hug tell them it's been a while don't frown laugh smile hug your friends hug your enemies Hallelujah. God bless you. Good to have you around. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I'm moving from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus. I'm going from one level of grace to another. In the name of Jesus. My faith is rising. And the glory of the Lord is upon me. I am the head and not the tail above and not beneath the grace of God is at work in me his anointing is alive in my spirit in the name of Jesus I have authority over snakes and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy my path is as a shining light it shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day 
the grace of God is at work in me. I am the head and not the tail. Hallelujah. Give God a shout. Bible says, we having the spirit of faith, as it is written, I believed. Have I spoken? Say, we believe and therefore we speak. The operation of the spirit of faith is that you are convinced and then you declare. Hmm. Hebrews 11 verse 3 says, through faith, and that the world, the systems were framed by the word of God. Hallelujah. We celebrate the ministry of the word of God. I don't know about you, but I belong to that category of people. Bible says they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh. It didn't say they are life to Christians. They are life to those who find them and health to their flesh. Hallelujah. Be seated. God bless you. Good to have everyone around. Please bring out your bios, your notebooks, and let's get to the word. Hallelujah. Is it possible to have some of those people standing just share these vacant seats? Please, ushers, protocol, help them. Some of these seats that are vacant, please pick them up. And let the people have the seats, all right? Some of them can come to the front. Hallelujah. Please let, let's not have vacant seats around. If there are vacant seats, just highlight the ushers. Even if it's for you and you'll be standing, please let the people sit down. Jesus told them if they don't sit down, there's no bread. Hallelujah. Don't feel bad. Those of you standing, you're still, you're sitting in the spirit. The Bible says so. Hallelujah. Praise God. What I want to teach tonight is very important and is very powerful. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, God is helping us to build, to train, please listen, to equip his people with the understanding of the word of God, the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We're bringing everyone by the grace of God to a point where we know the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, let the wise man not glory in his wisdom and the strong man in his strength. But let him that glorieth glory in this, that he knoweth me and understandeth me. Hallelujah. The pride of the Christian is in the knowledge of the Lord. Hallelujah. And so God is helping us to know him by his spirit. To understand the nature of God. The kingdom of God is divided into two. Number one is the nature of God. You understand the nature, the person, the character. Hallelujah. And the end of that revelation is you conform to the image of the son. Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. He said, but we all with unveiled face, beholding him as in a mirror, we are changed. Hallelujah. We are changed into that same image. And so the knowledge of the person of Jesus is enhanced through the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And in the place of prayer, in the place of fellowship, in the place of intimacy, we get to know who he is. Ejimi said something very powerful. He said it's not about receiving miracles and not knowing the person. It's not just good to know the word. You must know the author. Hallelujah. You can know about me by reading my books and listening to my messages, but you know me by interacting with me. Hallelujah. And when it comes to intimacy with the Holy Spirit, this is not a, it's not a conventional, it's not a, it's, a, it's not a collective thing. The Bible says, He, not them that dwell in the secret. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. There is a revelation of God that you have in the place of intimacy. That's why we say koinonia is intimacy and partnership. Hallelujah. When you know the person of the Holy Spirit, you understand the nature and the person of God. Then you 
get to understand his principles hallelujah his principles the value system of heaven the modus operandi uh, with which the territory of heaven functions by so when you talk about the principles of god or the principles of jesus christ is his value system his code of conduct his way of doing things hallelujah you never can call yourself transformed until you truly understand the value system of heaven the laws of the kingdom the principles of the kingdom for in the knowledge of the principles of the kingdom it will equip you to rule and reign as a king in this life let, let me tell you something you can know the lord are you listening to me you can know the lord you can pray in tongues you can do all of these things you find yourself conforming to the image of the christ life but it takes the knowledge of the principles of the kingdom he says and i will give you the keys of the kingdom and whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven why will all of these things happen because i will give you the keys keys represent access hallelujah i will give you the laws and the principles how to understand and to navigate through my system and this is what we teach all the time it's not you don't empower people just by teaching stories you don't empower people when when you go to class the lecturer does not give you stories he teaches you what principles the knowledge of your principles is what you will use to answer your exam questions because it's not the same question they will ask you but it will require the application of the same principle can i tell you something there is nothing you will face in life that will not require the operation of kingdom principles are you listening to me so the knowledge of the principles of the kingdom will help you and guide you through life there are so many believers that have no knowledge on the principles of the kingdom hallelujah I was i was i think i was teaching in a meeting and i said many believers do not understand the knowledge of the principles of the kingdom that's why we use whatever key do you know that not every key opens every door every key cannot open your room but it's a key is that correct now when you begin to handle every key because it comes from god does not mean it to open the door you must know the right key that opens every door and it is the understanding it says get wisdom and in all thy getting get understanding wisdom tells you what to do understanding tells you how to do it hallelujah and tonight i want to share with us something very powerful romans chapter 12. when a believer gets born again and filled with the spirit of god the bible tells us that there is a translation i always say this from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of god's dear son hallelujah now that initial experience look up please that initial experience at salvation does not affect your soul and your body necessarily are you listening to me that transformation that regeneration happens uh, from the realm of your spirit but it takes the renewing of your mind it takes changing values philosophies priorities and this is what the holy spirit one of the primary ministries of the holy spirit in the life of the believer is not to make the person look anointed alone but to bring the person to that point where you have been translated from one system one value system one code of operation into another system and the degree to which you yield to the holy spirit to align is the degree to which you will find yourself walking in consistency with the word of god hallelujah romans chapter 12 verse 1 i beseech you therefore brethren so he's talking to brethren i beseech you therefore brethren that ye by the mercies of god that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto god which is your reasonable act of service verse 2 and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that he may prove that 
prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The Bible says, do not be conformed. In other words, there is a mindset. Please listen to me carefully. This is a very, very, very important message. Especially at this time in Nigeria and in the world. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that we are not the same with they that are of the world. Do you believe that? Do you believe it? It's one thing to accept something. It's another thing to believe. To believe means to conceive as a reality in your spirit. Hallelujah. The Bible separates us. And it lets us know that we do not belong to the category of the world. The carnal minded, the natural man. God has exalted us to a realm where we operate by another law we operate by different sets of rules hallelujah and it's not enough to confess that you are a christian you must allow the holy spirit and the ministry of the word to bring you to that position experientially otherwise you will find yourself born again but you will not be able to walk in the victory of jesus christ are you listening to me so this is very very important I'm talking tonight about a victorious mindset. Write it. A victorious mindset. Or the victorious mindset, really. I found out something interesting in scripture. Please look up. As I began to search through scripture, I found out that there were certain things that made God angry. There were not many times in the Bible that God was angry, even with his people. But I found out that there were certain things in scripture that every time it occurred, it made God angry. I mean, God was angry. And he responded to it in a very, in a very interesting way. And so I found out that if we do not align ourselves, we'll get God so angry with us all the time. Hallelujah. The Bible says, do not be conformed. What does that mean? That means that there is pressure. Attempting to bring your mindset. Listen, a mindset talks of um, your a sum total of your ideologies. A sum total of your philosophies, your value system. What makes up your belief system? What, um, what informs your convictions about God about men about life and can i tell you something we come from different backgrounds and as diverse as our backgrounds are so are our mindsets we have packed every kind of thing from different systems different experiences and when we all come into the kingdom the bible says we have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation what happens you come as you are but you don't remain as you are are you listening to me the problem with the body of christ is we want to come as we are and remain as we are no no you come as you are and then the holy spirit engages you in the ministry of transformation hallelujah your walk with the spirit should bring a predictable result I should be able to look at you after a season of walking with the word and with the spirit. You should look like something. And that portrait is the one we call Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5. He said, let this mind, the word let there is permit. Permit this mindset. Jesus walked upon the earth. He had a mindset. Are you listening to me? Jesus had a mindset. He had, he, he had a way he behaved. The way he responded to people. The way he, when, when they, they believed that um, there would not be fish, he spoke as one with authority. They caught uh, a prostitute and brought to him and he responded. He seemed to operate uh, with a value system that was not known to the then Jewish nation. And they were very surprised. What kind of mind is this? How do you think? What is your thinking pattern like? Can I tell you something? Every successful man in life has a mindset. Whether in the secular or in the kingdom. And a healthy 
mindset is not part of the gift of the spirit are you listening to me oh no the bible says get wisdom buy the truth it puts a pie strat there hallelujah you cannot receive a kingdom mindset as an impartation no why because there are already forces in your mind the bible calls them strongholds the weapons of our warfare the bible says are not carnal but mighty through god hallelujah what do those weapons do to the pulling down of strongholds they exist in the realm of the mind it's a casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ and bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ. One of the biggest ministries of a believer is to align, not just to preach and go for evangelism, to align with the Holy Spirit such that he begins to work in you and produce in you a kind of mindset that only belongs to kingdom citizens you are not just a kingdom citizen because you bear a christian name even if your name is kingdom it doesn't make you a kingdom citizen hallelujah there is a mindset and can i tell you something dr mike mudok said something and i respect so much he said the world has embraced the person of jesus christ but we have rejected his principles i mean the church while the world has rejected the person of jesus christ but they have embraced his principles how true hallelujah and so there is not just it's not just enough for us to pray we've had 21 days prayer and fasting you can never rise above the level of your mindset are you listening to me you can never know i will show you from scripture that the mindset of a man can limit god in his life psalm 78 psalm 78 please listen to this message very carefully and let the holy spirit psalm 78 god began to walk with the nation of israel and he showed them mighty things in egypt hallelujah the ten plagues and he parted the red sea he did a lot of things to prove to them that he was lord but they had a mindset do you realize that they had been in egypt for 430 years listen 430 years is enough for you to adopt a mindset because you were born there are you listening to me now when the lord called them that's why he had to separate them from egypt when god calls a man he takes you out of the environment that created that wrong mindset and then he walks on you then he sends you back as a deliverer that's what he did to moses moses was born with a mindset he took moses out to the back side of the mountain for 40 years let me announce to you that god is not in a hurry he can wait are you listening to me for 40 years he wanted to use moses but the mindset of moses kept limiting god until he walked on moses in a way and a manner that his mind could now release god and then he said all right let's walk together the exact same thing happened to abraham god had a blessing for abraham in his spirit and he wanted to communicate it but the mindset of abraham would not allow the lord to bless him and one day the lord said how do i open this guy's mindset he said abraham come out look at the stars he said count them and abraham began to count and he could not count he said now this is how i will bless you finally abraham believed god and it was counted unto him as righteousness hallelujah psalm 78 verse 10 they kept not the covenant of god and refused to walk in his law and forgot his works and his wonders that he had shown them marvelous things did he in the sight of their fathers in the land of egypt in the field of zoan and then you read down verse 17 and they sin yet the more against him by provoking the most high interesting this is the sin they committed what was the sin the bible says they provoked the most high in the wilderness so god can be provoked they provoked the most high hallelujah the bible says 
and they tested god in their heart by asking according to their desire yea they spoke against god and they said can god furnish a table in the wilderness that's verse 19. he said can god can god furnish a table in the wilderness are you listening to me after all of the things that the lord did to them god told them i'm taking you into a land that flows with milk and honey and those guys would not believe god one moment they are up and the next moment they are saying moses would have gone back to egypt you see the mindset was still there can i tell you something it took a day for them to cross the red sea but it took more than 40 years for egypt to leave their mind the fact that you are born again and you have left the world system does not mean the mindset of the world has left you it will take the operation of the spirit of god you know why i'm saying that because you have built your entire life and trust on those values you grew up with them they taught you those values in schools now god is saying you've got to drop those values hallelujah you have grown up with your father talking to you all the time and say son in this life money doesn't grow on trees no giving don't give anybody anything all i give you keep it it belongs to you then you begin to study the bible and the bible says there is he that scattered and yet increase it there is he that withholded more than is me two kingdoms are fighting there is a war that begins to fight in you your father is saying well if you like do what you want to do and the word of god is saying this is the principle the Bible says in Malachi chapter 3, say, will a man rob God? He said, yet, ye have, wherein have we robbed you? He said, the whole nation of Israel, bring in your tithes that there may be meat in my house. He said, and prove me now here which saith the Lord. If I will not open the windows of heaven and shower upon you a blessing that you will not have room enough to receive. He said, and I will rebuke the devourer for your sake and it shall not destroy the fruit of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast its young before its time. All of these blessings, you see but you have been built in a system are you listening to me the bible says if that same spirit that resurrected christ from the dead dwells in your mortal body but you've lived all your life on drugs nothing is wrong with drugs and medicine and all of that but i'm telling you that there is a higher life are you listening to me and now you have to start contending with those laws You have grown up with a mindset and you live in a world that says well whatever whatever will be will be whatever will be will be if i die today i die if i'm sick today i'm sick whatever will be whatever life gives me then you begin to study in god's word and he says that this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth he said thou thou should be careful that you observe it he said then shall thy ways be prosperous and thou shall have good success Hmm. and then deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 says it shall come to pass in that day if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i commanded this day he said that i will set you on high and all these blessings shall come upon you and shall overtake you there are two kingdoms fighting the mindset that you got from your village living with your grandmother living with all kinds of things whenever the lord begins to speak of blessings you are not ready for those things because of a mindset do you realize how that satan has crippled the church the body of christ the nation of nigeria by giving us a mindset that came from the african culture are you listening to me there is a mindset that the african culture gave us is a mindset of servitude we inherited it when when the colonial masters came after they finished with nigeria they left a mindset of servitude and that mindset still follows even intelligent students on campus because the moment a student enters school the next thing he's thinking of he do, he's not thinking of productivity he's not thinking of creativity he's thinking of what servanthood let me just get somebody and let me be a secretary it's a mindset they limited god in the wilderness by saying can god and the bible said that statement provoked god and god was angry how dare you limit me hallelujah 
So we are saying, Lord, bless me. Lord, make me this. I am the head and not the tail. Calm down. If you do not understand the principles of the kingdom, be sure that you are going to live a frustrated life. Are you getting blessed? The principles. Do you know something about God? The Bible says righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. That's a dangerous statement. That means the fact that you are a Christian does not necessarily mean that you just walk in victory like that. There are rules that you engage. And if you don't engage them, I tell you the truth, you will leave gray only to tell your stories to your children. This is what is happening in the nation of Nigeria. But if we are to be the victorious people, there is a mindset. Say after me, there is a mindset. I need to have. Say there is a mindset. And that mindset comes from the word of God. The Bible says do not be conformed. That means refuse it. If you don't refuse it, you will inherit it. That mindset is in the films you watch. That mindset is in the news you listen to every day. They are called mind control systems. They give you a false view about life. You finish watching a film and you are afraid about life. There's no audacity to walk in grace and power again. It's a mindset that inflicts fear. It's a mindset that inflicts defeat. It's a mindset that keeps you in servitude. And so you are always looking for someone to help you when you are the deliverer. That's the mindset that makes us to blame our parents. It's the mindset that makes Nigerians never to take responsibility over their lives. There is no nation in the world that runs away from responsibility like Nigerians. The government is not doing this. My father did this. They told my father to be serious. He wasn't serious. Okay, now that it has happened, what are you doing about it? My stupid father. I'm this and Keep insulting people. There is a mindset. And many of us are taking those mindsets. And we are laughing. We are saying, hallelujah. I'm entering a blessed place. You are not. You are not. You are entering in the realm of the spirit. But it may never manifest in this realm. Hallelujah. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. What does it mean to have faith? It means that you lay your life upon the foundation of the integrity of God's word. Hmm. Hebrews 11. It says now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. It says for by it, this faith, the elders obtained report, a good report. Verse 3 says, through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. The systems. Hallelujah. We live in a culture where we are taught to respond to things in carnal ways. Hallelujah. Ah, Boko Haram. Where will this come and happen? Boko Haram. And people begin, you see, look at the panic that is around. You feel it in the air. Many believers, your faith has become stupidity. In your room, you laugh at yourself and say, man, is this God thing serious? I be we are just fooling ourselves here. It's only because you have not said it in your mind. You have said, let's keep God aside though and walk with common sense now. <laughs> now, don't laugh. It's a dangerous mindset. If it does not change, you'll never be victorious in life. Men who rule the world are men of conviction. Are you listening to me? If you get up today believing that this speaker is God, if you can convince people, you'll find followers that will follow you. This is the issue. Dr. Mark, dead men rule the world. The ideologies of dead men are the ones who are ruling the world. And those who are alive are picking those mindsets and we are running with them. Tonight, God wants to give us a mindset for victory. Are you listening to me? There is a mindset. Jesus came from a city called Nazareth. Let's start from there. The Bible makes us to understand that when Nathaniel was told to come and see Jesus, he said, can anything good come out of where? Can anything good come out of Kano? Can anything good come out of Zamfara? Can anything come out of your village that the map is not in this country? But he said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? When people speak like this, they have a track record. In other words, they have seen Nazarenes not become anything and he said can anything good 
that's the first mindset that you need to conquer many of us give a lot of excuses there are many of us today who lie and say me i'm from i'm from lagos then when there's a flood in lagos say no 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 i'm from Bielsa. what kind of life do you want to live you know why you are defining your life by where you are coming from not where you are going to can anything good come out of nazareth do you not realize that those who have changed the course of history came out out of nowhere men who were resilient in their convictions took responsibility over their destiny dared the word of god the bible talks not the bible history tells us about maria woodward eater men and women like catherine kuma these were ordinary people they dared to take the word of god when they saw the word of god they said lord if this is what you are saying i will change history with it hmm. and they refused their parents said don't be ambitious they said no way i know where i'm going men of conviction I do not see men of conviction in the church we are men who are, our faith is shaky and slippery and that tells us it's not founded upon the principles of god's word when you truly believe the word you can die believing it the depth of your conviction is the degree to which you can manifest faith hmm. if i die of sickness today the last word that will come out of my mouth before i die is by his stripes i am healed The Bible says they limited God. Have you been limiting God? Every time God said he wants to bless you, in your mind, you give God the person to use and bless you. My uncle. God, you must be talking about Uncle Sam. Strangers shall feed your flock. He said your gates shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. Do you believe this thing? See, let me tell you something. I'm very serious tonight. Do you believe it? don't just nod this is a question god is asking because life will ask you and you must answer every single one born of a woman if you must cross this button into greatness life will ask you the depth of your conviction jesus said destroy this temple and i'll build it in three days ah i must be a man of conviction do you believe the word of god or you are just holding on to god and then putting your leg on something else and say lord this journey we need to use wisdom we need to do here and then hang on because you have a track record of failing people anytime so i'm not ready to let this thing fall in an ocean look at what he told peter peter said if it be thou bid me come and he said peter do you believe me this much come let me prove to you i'm the one capable satire you will have to step out of that boat and walk upon the waters this is what makes champions if it be thou bid me come and thomas was saying peter peter how many times did i call you he said well peter i would like to record the history of how you died you can go and the bible says when peter began to walk see every time you read about miracles in the bible realize that before the miracle happened the, the people were not laughing the way you are laughing when you read that story every testimony you hear here at that point it was a moment of faith mindsets are you listening to me the bible tells us in the book of numbers remember i sent a post it says they were how many how many spies many of you don't know some are saying four how can it be four <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah how many 12 12 spies were sent now god had already spoken god gets annoyed when he speaks and we don't believe this is what they call limitation god is not insult let me tell you something um if i tell you if i tell you that we will organize the welfare to make cake for you and later i see you sweating and praying and doubting and say hey will this cake come i look at you and say what is the big deal 
did you not see people celebrate and enjoy cake here yeah? this is exactly how god gets angry when god speaks to you he weighs his ability first and then he looks at his ability and say i'm able go ahead trust me but we have several believers that have mindsets that are not programmed for victory and hear me friends some of you are in final years some of you are already working there is the mindset that is going to bring destruction for many upon this land this is why i am speaking to you many of you may feel this message is not important but the nigeria you used to know, nigeria you are you listening to me many of you have been shielded by your parents and families so you have not had the opportunity to see the reality of what i'm saying life will be waiting for you in front of contagora square as soon as you are carrying your you are dropping your graduation gown you say welcome there is a system but you must ride against it and say no way hallelujah ten of them came they said moses were you stupid when you sent us do I ever try this it's even by god's grace that we came back are you playing those guys had six fingers six toes they were of the descendants of 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 of, of the they were the anarchites we we cannot lie there was there was honey and there was this the fruit there we at least we were able to taste it but kai forget about it we're not getting there go and tell god that that promised land you should carry it and change the location and while they were speaking god was listening god was joining in the conversation and god was not finding it funny are you listening to me oh hallelujah the name of one of the two is joshua hmm. the bible says but joshua and caleb came they said boy let's go up at once why are we waiting look at two people the same place they said let's go up we are able to take these guys we tasted the fruit i mean this fruit is we need to get these guys out of the way joshua how are you getting them let's go at once mm. at once at once that a student can look at his result and you can see probation and while they are laughing at you you laugh and say the world changer is still there tears may be in my eyes my lecturer insulted me but there is a mindset i refuse to conform i refuse to call myself a failure it's an abomination it's not in the constitution of my kingdom i refuse to bow i refuse to give in i'm walking in my high places it's a mindset there are many of us that are too weak words kill you at once when someone looks at you maybe your lecturer or someone and just says guy you you don't you look like a failure for two weeks you will be lean you will be sick they say why he said somebody said so don't you realize that you need this kind of people on your path to success who else will testify he make a table before me in the presence not the absence listen you must refuse to bow this world is a wicked world it will make you bow to things that are not consistent with the word of god anything i refuse to say anything about my life that is not i refuse it the bible says finally brethren philippians chapter 4 verse 8 whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are noble whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are if there be any good report if there be any virtue think on these things the bible tells us what to think on are you listening to me it says finally brethren whatsoever things are what how many of you have been thinking on lies a lie is anything god did not say anything whether your government said it a lie is anything god did not say we have believed in a lie as a country we have believed in a lie as individuals we have believed in a lie many ministries have believed in a lie many people have believed in a lie oh it says whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue if there be any praise it tells you what what have you been thinking on hallelujah you carry your result of first semester 100 level and you're in 400 level you are just looking at it 
and you're just looking at it and you're meditating you're looking at it and then maybe the person who printed out the result wrote something and said funny student exclamation mark and you look and you stand in the mirror you ask someone say sorry am i funny what why are people saying this or somebody sees you and say you self you, every time yellow trouser or every time yellow trouser and you go back and you are crying do you not see your future do you not see that it is better than your yesterday you must refuse see not conforming means refusing there is a level of stubbornness that will take you to your promised land you must refuse you can't bend into everything Do you know how many people have talked me down in life? Oh, you don't want to imagine. But I'm standing and moving by the glory of God every day. Do you? Listen, I, I'm serious. You see year 9 and see Koinonia today. Do you, know, do you know how that we have had to be resilient walking by the word? Many of us do not believe the word enough. You say, oh Lord, this semester... It's going to be a good semester for me. Three weeks into the semester, your uncle didn't send the money he promised. And now you're in trouble. No Gary, no nothing. Your roommate says, you better come and join. Let's share Gary and keep this your stupidity. And then he says, it's true, Gary. And then, no, no, there's nothing wrong. Go and take the Gary. But say, Lord, I thank you. Because I'm doing this thing. My days are numbered. I know that the word of God is translating me. I live by these principles. Are you listening to me? You are sleeping and you sense any demonic challenge. You don't just get up and say, Hey, where is Jake's? Jake's, oh. No. No. Stand up and say, I have been made to sit with Christ in heavenly places, far above principalities, powers, thrones, dominions. The problem is we shout with these things in church. And as we are stepping out, we drop it near our seats. And then we laugh. Wow, church was great. Do you not realize that you are supposed to take this truth and go and apply it in your life? Hallelujah. They call and they say, armed robbers just robbed your house. And they injured people and they are crying. Many people just say, God, why? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. You don't speak like that. Does it matter? What, have, look at your life. Do you like it? Don't you realize that this system is governed by words? This is a word planet. Your words can create and can destroy. Where the word of a king is, there is power. Don't you know the height of dominion is that you speak and things happen? Kings don't speak and go and make it happen. They speak and it happens. That's why they are called kings. The Bible says rule thou. In the midst of your enemies when god speaks to you he does not speak to you as though you have challenges he just speaks moses go and conquer jericho i mean, I mean moses go, uh, take the people out of out of israel joshua go and conquer jericho do you believe the lord or are you limiting him with your mindset are you allowing the mindset you receive from culture many of us get up in the morning and you don't have time to prophesy and speak over your life you are ashamed of it because of your roommates let me tell you something tonight solidify your convictions are you listening to me there is nowhere i will go that i will not be able to uh, uh, many of us are not proud of these laws of the spirit because we are not even convinced that they work hallelujah But I choose to operate the law of faith. I choose to live, to embrace the mindset that will make for my victory in this life. Refuse, refuse, refuse to say anything that is not consistent with God's word. Refuse it. Refuse it. You must declare and you must abide by the principles of God. 10,000 naira comes into your, your hand. The devil is saying this money is small. These koinonia people say we want to collect our tithe. Keep chopping our money. You will keep getting poor and broke. And a day will come 
where he will be angry at those who are rich. This is the problem with Nigerians. When things don't work for you, you get sad with those that is working for. When they take light in your house, your last gen is not working. Another person is putting gen that has been running since afternoon and you don't look stupid neighbor with their children. What did they do to you? They didn't offend you. And when the man, you see, let me tell you something. Lack of adherence to the word of God has severe consequences. That I choose to believe the word of God. I speak only words of blessings. I speak only words of increase. I speak only words of glory. My path is as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter. He and I is stepping into greater realms of glory, greater realms of power, greater realms of impact. You must learn to speak like that. Your father looks at you and says, Ah, it has happened. Say, What has happened? Say, They just sat me. Say, Daddy, I know the Bible says all things work together for good. Relax. God is doing something. He knows how to make a way in the wilderness. Your father will say, Ah, ah, which fellowship do you attend? And then you get ashamed of what you just confessed. You're like, I'm talking too much. I'm here. I'm doing pastor. What is the meaning of that? Yes! The Bible says they shall call you ministers of our God. You must be convinced. You must be convinced. You are reading with your roommates and you are doing it and the thing is not entering. And maybe your roommate is not a very serious person. And then you know that this thing is not entering. The Bible says there is a spirit in man. And the inspiration of the almighty make it men of understanding. And the, the spirit is convicting you. Just close your book and take some. Just stroll around and pray in tongues more. And like, hey God, don't disgrace me now. Eh? The way this guy is already doing as if he likes me. You want to pour sand in my garden now. And you cannot turn. Even when you are praying, you are covering your mouth. Why can't you pray loud? When you are telling people your problems, you tell everybody, you don't whisper it. But when you are praying for the solution, you just know. I know my Redeemer live it. Hmm. The spirit of faith. Do you believe what I'm teaching? Or you're just laughing and enjoying Koinonia tonight? You hear that armed robbers have attacked somebody and they have injured them. They have injured your parents or any of your loved ones. Even when you hear that one of your loved ones is dead, that looks like the end of it. It's better for you to just say, Lord, you are faithful, than to start asking questions that you are not going to get the answer. You just say, faithful God, with tears in your eyes. Hallelujah. I love women. Women have faith at the height. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean mothers. <laughs> Hallelujah. Your mother will get up and say, I had a dream. In that dream, I saw that God blessed us. And when she's saying it, everybody's just looking. You know, we men, we are very scientific. Two plus two is not giving eleven. You are calculating this prophecy and it's not adding up. And your mother just says, I know I had a dream. I can't prove it all, but it will happen. Mm. And one day the hand of prophecy will just hold you. And say, you remember your mother's prophecy? You are the one who will make it happen. You applied for Unilag, you found yourself in Abu. God is saying, I know where I'm taking you. You are very stubborn, you will not go by yourself. So let's disguise you. And God is bringing you. And then brings you to be receiving this word. Every time you are the word keeps matching up with the prophecies you have been hearing. And every time you know you are getting closer. You know that the miracle will not come from your father or your mother. That you are that deliverer. And the devil will be telling you just forget about all these things. Join them and jump and just go out. But something in your spirit says take this word seriously. It is the seed on which the miracle of your family will thrive. Joseph had a dream. And he knew. That the mandate, the deliverance upon his land was, was on his shoulder. Do you realize how great you are? Do you know that the burden of nations is upon you? And God is trusting you. 
it does not yet appear you may not look like it but only god and time can tell how far we are going this is why i preach and shout on you the way i do i'm doing it now that i have the opportunity you see it i believe the word of god i am convinced are you convinced are you persuaded enough to speak it enough to declare it enough to stand and when you submit your project before your lecturer you just stand back and you're just mumbling tongues and he looks at you and you are not ashamed they say what are you doing you say well they call it praying in the spirit they say, church and then you say ah you just shrink back because you're a pretty lady and there are guys there embarrassment what are you ashamed of the word of god or you do not trust that it is able to bring results in your life say after me i believe the word of god and I refuse to conform. It's the mindset of the kingdom. That you obey God. The Bible says how that Abraham was willing to obey God unto death. Obedience unto death. Hallelujah. They give you a job in Abuja. And your salary is 300,000. The moment you are dancing and preparing to go, God will say, no way. There's one teaching job around. It's 20,000. You just go. I'm leading you there. Say, ah, God, I'm not stupid like that. When I was a child, I taught like a child. I, I, I acted like a child. I suffered like a child. Now that I'm a man, no way. Obedience unto death. Now, when you are doing these things, the people around let me tell you before the manifestation of your miracle you always look mad this is why god told us is that the spiritual man is not like abraham um come you are isaac in my story now abraham gets isaac and he's just singing i believe hey, hey i believe this it took abraham a long time sarah says where are you going say to a mountain don't worry and the servants are just following and discussing say ha three days journey oh, which kind of place are we going and then he gets to the end of the mountain and abraham is rising he said okay isaac let's go and isaac says daddy i see the wood i see the fire i, I thought we always use ram daddy where's the ram he said don't worry jehovah jireh in his mind he says son this is painful but you are that ram <laughs> obedience unto them and when abraham took i i don't know how he caught isaac whether he quacked him and just put him i don't know how he did it but i know he did it and he carried isaac and placed isaac and tied him while isaac was crying do you no matter how heartless you are at that point something will ring in your heart and god was saying i will not change my mind i'm still watching hmm. he tied isaac and then he set fire on him abraham would have cried fire say what will i go and tell sarah sarah is waiting three days no gsm then she would have called and said oh god bring my child back and continue your journey just bring my child back are you listening to me you do not know that is it takes faith and audacity to obey god are you listening to me And he put Isaac and when he took the knife the Bible says in Romans chapter 4 that he had already said God was able to bring Isaac back from the dead so he had concluded and while he was going to bring it down God said my God I've never seen a man I mean Adam Enoch they went close but they didn't hit it who is this man he said Abraham I swear in blessing I will bless you in multiplying and then we sing abraham's blessings are mine hallelujah you must do what abraham did to get what he got obedience unto death hallelujah one day you just get up and while you are moving and smiling your scholarship just enters you just tell your friends hey, people the lord himself will bless us today god says hold on not too fast while you are planning for that laptop and all of this there is a need in this ministry 
I want you to go and empty it until you see zero naira in your account. Don't even leave minimum withdrawal amount. Say, God, I know I didn't hear it. Your thoughts towards me are thoughts of good and not of evil. It can be you to bring me a future and an expected end. I rebuke Satan. But the mindset for victory is the mindset that can obey God. How many of you are willing to obey God? If God says tight, tight. Many of you don't pay your tight and you are wondering why the heavens is closed. It will remain closed. You are saying the day God blesses me, that day will not come. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. And he took Isaac. Are you listening to me? Great men are men who have done crazy things in life. Upon the fact that they are convinced that the word of God works. Hallelujah. I remember when God told us, go and hold a crusade in massacre. You better hear God before you stand before Pharaoh. Otherwise, you will die for nothing. And we went there. And God proved himself in ways that humbled us. Do you not realize that putting up a platform like Koinonia is a risk? There's no assurance that God gives you. That people are going to come. They are going to be blessed and they will remain. Many of you, it's the obedience of God that forced you from 90s to this place. Forced you. While you are going to buy suya, the angel of the Lord said, you are not buying any suya. That's your offering. Let's go. And you didn't want to go. Then God just brought the lady you liked and you started following. You were following. Where is this lady going to? God was saying, shall I follow. I'm so desperate for your destiny, you must go. And then when you came, they put you near the front and you came during miracle service. And then you woke up later and saw them wrapping something around you. And from that day, God caught you and said, I've, I've been looking for you since your secondary school. Now I finally caught you. Say after me, I refuse to conform to the thinking pattern of the world. Say in the name of Jesus. Say one more time. In the name of Jesus, I refuse fear. I refuse defeat. I refuse failure. I refuse sickness. I refuse poverty. I refuse weakness. In the name of Jesus, I experience great grace, great glory, favor, intimacy, increase. Yes, that's how you speak. At all times, it becomes your confession. After a while, those that are not born again will start noting some people for speaking in certain ways and every time you say ah i'm looking for prosper they say are you part of those people that speak all those things they, they can laugh at you don't stop them from laughing because they will soon laugh with you for they told sarah she cannot bear a child she was past age of childbirth but when isaac came everybody came and rejoiced do you believe that God is joking with you or you are really convinced that his thoughts towards you are thoughts of good and not of evil? We are going to pray tonight. The victorious mindset. The mindset that is built upon the, God bless you. The mindset that is built, lift your Bibles if you came here with your Bible. For those of you who don't respect your Bibles, please change your mindset. Take away that torn Bible that only has New Testament. Go and dedicate the 1,000 naira you want to buy um whatever it is with it and go and buy a good bible and take it seriously lift your bibles do you believe that contained in this book is a revelation of god for your life see men who have gone before us they took this word seriously are you listening to me there is no situation you or your family wants to face that somebody has not faced and conquered are you listening to me it's not new but if you can take the word of God and say, I believe, I believe. Lord, I'm convinced. Yes, I'm graduating with a third class. But Lord, I know that your thoughts towards me are thoughts of good and not. Men have called me a failure, but I believe. 
Even my father has called me a failure, but I believe. Those of you who want to go for ministry, you are eyeing Lagos, Victoria Island. God said, no, go sell. Now you have pledged your commitment. God says, go sell, you had me. I will repeat myself. Pack your wife and your children and go. And now you're going and crying. You get into that land and people say, what do you want to build? You say a big church, they say you are a stupid man. Because there's something wrong. But when you are celebrating your 10 years anniversary and you stand and see the faithfulness of God, the things that I see today, God showed me as far back as 2003 and 2004. In my little mind then, I never believed. Never. Never. But God began to bring me to a point where he said, Son, never doubt me. I am more than able. And today, by the grace of God, we are all celebrating the manifestation of what God is doing and how he's building his kingdom. And this is only the beginning. Ah, yeah. You will see things. Jesus said you will see greater things than this. You have not seen anything. Do you value yourself this much to refuse? Refuse it. Somebody is coming and say he's going to marry you. He's not, he's not born again, but he's very rich. Then there's one brother that has only palms, brown palms, with something like an alligator this in on top. <laughs> Always coming for koinonia and praying. And every time you are praying, you turn, you just see the person, you say, God, I didn't see him. Oh. I didn't see him. Keep looking at him there. You better hold his heart and puncture it and shift it away. And while you sit down, you are just imagining. How can I leave a raffle for somebody who is moving? But you hear the person, every time you see, hear them pray, you see him sweating on his own, only one shirt and he's praying. He's saying, my life will change. You are hearing it and you are just laughing. And then fast forward five years. You see the manifestation of the glory, the beauty, the splendor. Jesus said, well, you will see the son of man in power. You are seeing him in weakness now. A day will come, you will see the Son of Man in power. Hmm. Who would have believed that I would buy a suit and, and wear? You people don't know my story, that's why. It's easy to... Many of you just came and met us with water here and, and, and this, this glass thing. It wasn't like that. It was Jake's. I would go to their room in Suleiman. They would do beans and sweet potato and then I would eat. You think I didn't eat it in your 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 restaurant? 30 naira beans, 20 naira bread, Danish, Danish. Yes, it was 40 naira. The day they increased it to 15 naira, it pained me because I felt the difference. So don't feel bad that you are feeling it now. No, people were there, but I didn't do what you are doing now. That's what helped me to continue. Many of us are there and you are laughing. When you finish, you just say tom tom and lie and say, Kai, doubt yourself. Their food is not very nice now. Why will you tell lies? Don't you know you are moving forward? Say, I'm moving forward. In the name of Jesus, I'm moving forward. My limitations of today are my testimonies of tomorrow. In the name of Jesus, jump up on your feet. Shake up, pata, pata, pata. Come on, prophesy. My limitations of today are my testimonies. I may have nothing, but if I have the word of God, I create my world. I frame my world. I will change my family. We will change Nigeria. Go ahead and prophesy. Walk around and prophesy. Let the spirit of faith rise. I refuse to limit God. God, you call me a world changer. I am a world changer. You call me a champion. I am a champion. You call me a history maker. I'm a history maker. Come on, prophesy. You call me prosperous. I am prosperous. You call me healthy. I am healthy. You call me rich. I am rich. You call me a man of faith. I am a man of faith. I refuse to confirm. Make sure you are praying. Shaka pata kata balarabasa, plante boto paseteya. Come on, let our generals pray. Let the generals pray. Let the world changers pray. Mata kapo soto ya. I am rising from grace to grace. Hallelujah.
from glory to glory by the Spirit of God. No limits, no boundaries, moving by the hand of God. The grace of God is at work in my life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Prophesy. I refuse to talk like them. I refuse to walk like them. I refuse to call failure, failure. I refuse to call sickness, sickness. I refuse to call delay, delay. Prophesy. If you came here for Koinonia tonight, prophesy. Walk round. Speak. Let the doors of your destiny be open. I'm the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. The lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. The grace of God is at work in me. The world will celebrate His grace upon my life. In the name of Jesus, the doors of nations are opening up to me. I experience increase. I experience breakthrough. I experience the peace of God. Prophesy. 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 In the name of Jesus. Prophesy. God will not fail you. God will not fail you. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time is not worthy, is not worthy, is not worthy to be compared the sufferings in your department, the sufferings in your finances, the sufferings in your health, the sufferings in your ministry is nothing compared with the glory that the word of God is bringing in your life. Hallelujah! I am victorious. I think only victorious thoughts. I have the mindset of a victor. I refuse to conform. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse death. I refuse failure. I refuse poverty. I refuse sickness. I refuse defeat. I refuse to limit God. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to pray. Listen. And you are going to confess. And say, Lord, I take the limits that I've placed off you with my mindset. Hear me. There are many of you, God, have told you, you will be presidents of nations. Hold on. You will be CEOs of companies. God has told you, you will build factories. God has said you will build airlines. There are many of you, God told you, you will have mega ministries. God told you the next revival will come through your hands. But you are limiting God. You are limiting God in every area. i like you to pray and say, Lord, I take off the limits. Go ahead. Do with me what only you can do. Produce a sign and a wonder. My village notwithstanding. My failures notwithstanding. Come on, pray. My challenge is notwithstanding. My family background notwithstanding. Make sure you are praying. I take the limits. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. God is able in me. God is able. I'm a champion. I am victorious in the name of Jesus. I am prosperous. I enter my wealthy place. I enter my place of blessings. I enter my place of authority. I flourish in ministry. ENI is growing from grace to grace. We cannot fail. There is a hand upon us. There is the grace of God. That same hand that was there from the beginning. That same hand is still alive. Fearful testimonies of healings, miracles, deliverances. Lives are being changed. Destiny is transformed. Many will come to know the Lord Jesus. Many will be filled with the Holy Ghost. Many will find their place in life. 
He will lead you to the place of destiny. He will lead you. I assure you. He will lead you. You will get there. You may be slow, but there is a hand upon your life. Do you not know there is a hand? Upon your life. Upon your life. In spite of the death that happened in your house, God is faithful. Your father may be dead. Your mother may be dead. Your brothers may be dead. God is still faithful. You may be eating just one meal in a day. God is faithful. God is faithful. God is faithful. Your rent may expire. God is faithful. Higher. Ma popa tikete bata. Rabba teko poto so pekete. Rempari edabash. Eba bashata baladabash. Increase in life. Increase in ministry. Breakthrough. My mind is productive. My spirit is receptive. I am a world changer. I am a champion. No limits. No boundaries. I believe the word. But I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded. 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 Firm. Immovable. He reigns. He reigns. He is standing by my side to bring his word. I don't know about you. He reigns. Yes, he reigns. God is an awesome God. Hey. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns, he reigns. He's standing by my side to bring his word to pass. Shapa kata balaba, rapa tapo sope, reko tope kete kete ba, rata paka tape, paka preke de 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 bos, raka de balaba bos. For the last time, hey. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns, he reigns, you are standing by my side, bring his word to pass, he reigns, he reigns, he reigns, can be sure the marriage is coming you will marry the children will come the increase will come yes you will know the Lord the anointing will come on you yes you will walk in the healing anointing yes you will walk in the prosperity anointing the lines are fallen for you in pleasant places you have a goodly heritage where you have been laughed at you become an eternal excellency a joy of many generations your part is as a shining light. It shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. In the name of Jesus, for your shame, you receive double. In the name of Jesus, the hand of the Lord is upon your life. The oil of gladness is upon you. You are rising from one realm of glory to another. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A victorious mindset. The mindset of increase. The mindset of grace. The mindset of glory. That you only see things in one direction. God's direction. No swaying. Abraham wavered not. Do not be conformed. Do not be conformed. The world will put pressure on you refuse to bend refuse it 
I choose the way of the Lord. I choose the word of God. Let God be true. And every man, every man be a liar. Be immovable. Be unshakable. Be firm. Be resolute. That's the mind of a champion. That's the mind of a world changer. Refuse to dwell on your challenges. Don't meditate on them. There's glory ahead. There's glory ahead. There's glory. Your destiny is a land flowing with milk and honey. Where your life becomes a testimony. Where books will be written about your life. Listen to me. Listen. A lot of believers do not know how to triumph in life. Hear me, friends. Every time you ask God to take you to the throne, you will turn and see a Goliath standing before you. The size of your Goliath is how God sees you. Are you listening to me? The size of the Goliath that stands before you. For when you take on the head of Goliath, then you will wear the crown of Saul. Otherwise, you will dream about it. You will fantasize about it. And you will not get there. There are many of you, God is leading you to do things that nobody has ever done. And you are afraid because it's a lonely road. Who told you there is no hand holding you? Who told you? There is a mindset i want you to live here tonight with a mindset that you didn't just come to church and i don't want you to just rejoice and be happy and say wow nice uh -uh, uh -uh. when the business is more serious than that sweep over your room with a mindset write something on the wall that testify to your convictions i'm the head and not the tail many of you what you have on your room is that thing you remove when you when you wrap tissue paper a carol bonjour remove that thing and say i am the head you may be having probation or they may have withdrawn you from your department or, see let me tell you something what i don't care what you are in let your mind grow wild you are not the first and it has produced victorious people you are not an exception the difference between those who emerge champions and you is that they did what you are not yet doing. Are you listening to me? So will you turn and call your... Many of you after this meeting or tomorrow you need to call your father and call your mother and tell them, let me tell you something. Don't pack your bags about life yet. There is a deliverer coming. Mm. There is a deliverer. Next time when you speak, stop looking at your ability look at god's ability your ability in yourself is small many of us look at our abilities that's why we say uh -uh. if god tells me today that i'm going to plant a church in every city not country city of the world i believe him i count him faithful are you listening to me by this time tomorrow he said so in the land of Samaria by this time and somebody limited God every time you limit God can you see from scripture that he got annoyed he got really annoyed by this time tomorrow and somebody say ah ah even if God will open hey, hey, don't ever let yourself snare your life with your words the Bible says for with your words you are justified and by your words you are ensnared don't ever let that word is it possible Ladies, it is possible. The principles of the kingdom. Obey God unto death. When you see the principles of God, many of you need to go and review many of your koinonia jottings. You have notebooks full of jotting. You never follow up. You don't read it. You are chasing after things that the solutions are in the word of God. Can I tell you something? Listen to me. If many of us, hear me, we are rounding up. If many of us would take half the time, hear me, half the time, 
we spend discussing our issues discussing our family issues to dig into the word of god i tell you something you will come out with something that will make you fear but many of us don't dwell you don't believe that god's word is the key the solution we only believe it in theory but we don't believe it in reality anything god's word cannot do for you forget it it cannot be done are you listening to me everything your father lays his hands to do is not working and you are there laughing you are saying he's a wicked man you see what your words are producing and he's getting more wicked every day you are looking at your brother and you are saying he's a stingy idiot in lagos okay i used to cook for him and now your words the bible says let it not be said before an angel i made a mistake Because angels execute it as you are saying. In the book of Numbers, he said, As I hear you say in my ears, so shall I do. What have you been saying? What have you been saying? Many of you tell yourself, I am nothing. I am nobody. I can't go anywhere. Us, these Jew girls, we are not very fine. See the fine ones. And you are saying, now nobody is talking to you. What have you said about yourself? I'm not saying you should be proud and arrogant and, and look down on others. But you must be confident. Are you listening to me? This is the mindset. It's a victorious mindset. It may look like a simple teaching tonight. But I want you to know that if you do not have this mindset, get set for shock. Because God is faithful. Other people were looking at Goliath and Saul and his mighty men were crying. David looked at him and said, if I kill this guy, what will you give me? Can you imagine? And they said, we'll give you our wealth and, and you'll get my daughter. He said, you mean it? He said, Lord, I've been praying about marriage. Thank you. The answer has come. He stopped praying. He went and met Goliath. He said, Goliath, you are too small to stop me from marrying. And he won that thing. And do you know as soon as he hit Goliath, he didn't ask for the wealth. He said, where's the lady Saul? Give me. And he carried her. That was why when David was dancing, she forgot. She had now become a big girl. She said, why are you doing this? He said, I'm dancing before God who took the throne from your father and gave it to me. Engage all the spiritual principles you know. Are you listening to me? The weapons of praise. Don't tell me you have not had messages on it. How many messages do you want to hear before you engage it? Lock yourself. You play a song and you are dancing. Say, Lord, I am dancing in advance for what you will do in my family. You went and saw your result. And people look at you. And somebody is saying, where are you? Sorry, you, Pele. You know I told you. And you lock yourself somewhere and you are dancing. And say, Lord, one day I will build a, a, a theater for this department. And I will make the lecturer who is insulting me to be the one to cut the scissors, to cut uh, the ribbon. What do you believe about yourself? Even Jesus Christ looked at them. He said, before your father Abraham, I am. He never apologized for that statement till he left to heaven. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. If there are two people who will be prosperous in Nigeria, it's me and somebody. I am sure of that. This is not just confession. It is a present day reality in my spirit. I'll never fail in ministry. Never. You know why? Because there is a hand. The hands that lifted me will uphold me till the end. I will not be afraid. The hands that lifted us will uphold us to the end. I will not be afraid. There is a hand that gave you admission. Can that hand not bring you to march out of Contagora Square? There is a hand that lifted you. It will uphold you to the end. I prophesy to you, you will not be afraid. The Lord is your light. He's the light of your life. 
you should not be afraid every time you're afraid remember the hand that lifted you will uphold you to the end again you will not be afraid the hand that lifted you from lagos and brought you to zaria the hand that gave you the shop the hand that brought the first three people in your ministry the hand that brought the first sick body that you healed be confident in that hand sing it one more time the hand that lifted me will uphold me till the end i will not i will not be the hand that held your father the hand that lifted him will uphold him till the end before your father was sent out of the bank they were screened and he got the job where is that hand can he not bring him again can that hand can that hand not bring you again the hand that prospered you in the small shop now you are afraid because god wants to increase you was it not the hand of god the hand that brought you in hundred level you are crying for project remember that course you thought you would get f then you saw c the hand that lifted you will uphold you to the end i will not be afraid. see that's why when i preach the word of god I preach it with fire and I preach it with power. Hallelujah. I'm not one of those user-friendly preachers that try to just polish the word of God so you don't hurt the emotion. Ah. Say, Josh, if you don't stop shouting at me like that, I will leave. Do you know how many people shouted in the Bible? Go and read how many times Jesus shouted. When there is a point to stress the way you, you pin it down. He said, but I will go. When you came for E and I, did you not meet people? Were you the first person? There is a hand that lifted us. It will uphold us to the end. We will not be afraid. Oh Lord, how will my life continue? I used to take scholarship. Now I'm rounding up. Ha ha. Do you not realize? the hundreds of thousands that applied the scholarship now you got it when the raven came and was feeding him he forgot that a hand brought the raven now when the water dried he began to doubt god god said are you doubting me come on come on i am el shaddai there are many ways i can do the same thing i'm not stranded of ideas the hand that lifted us will uphold us to the end hallelujah how will i graduate have you not heard that there are policies that have been changed in this school for only one session and was reversed back have you not had stories will i get admission have you not heard of people who got admission with 198 josh let's be let's let's be sensible i refuse that's what i just stopped you from doing i refuse i believe god's word call me a fanatic you are not wrong that's exactly what i am i believe god's word meet me any day i believe god's word i believe god's word you don't come and talk the language of defeat around me no create a protocol around your life let nobody just jump into your life and speak every kind of thing you come and stay close to me and you speak a vulgar language i politely tell you uh -uh. there is a gate that stands between you and me i'm going somewhere are you listening to me let's hold hands together as we round up there is no one who is not unaware of what is happening in this country listen to me 
right now people live in fear uncertainties our hearts go for those whose families were lost and it is it's a very sad thing we truly truly sympathize if your family belongs to one of those families our heart goes out to you and we are really praying for you and standing by you but I want to tell you something listen it should not stop you from remaining steadfast in the word of God are you listening to me don't come to a point where you are ashamed I know you are seeing many graduates running around looking for a job you are already scared begging everybody trying to find everybody no no the world is getting wicked by the day someone was talking I think it was Jake that was talking to me about a particular bank that was interviewing staff and the last series of tests they said they should have I said this is wickedness this is wickedness realize you can never be stranded in life he said about Josh I'm stranded don't you understand our language in the kingdom we have the same spirit of faith we call the things into being that be not and it is this has been my testimony and I want it to be your own and that of your family that tomorrow you can stand before your congregation your own church your own children and tell them and say guys when we were young we were taught to hold on to the Word of God and we did and today God has not failed David said since I was small now I am old I have never seen the righteous begging for bread how many righteous people are begging every day and the psalmist is talking as if he didn't see it say I've never seen the righteous beg didn't he go and beg for bread in the temple didn't he ask the priest to give him bread but he said since I was small now I am old I have never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg for bread as a family of faith I bring you a word of prophecy the condition for you to fail in life is if the resurrection of Jesus Christ can be reversed you are going farther than you know you represent a nation I tell you something God told me I will raise and I will train choice souls he told me this years ago so every one of you standing here represents territories and systems some of you the aviation sector some of you the media some of you arts and entertainment like an infant of fire the Lord is launching you and I tell you something refuse refuse to conform don't bend obey the lord keep tithing keep praying keep developing yourself keep reading the books keep building capacity bless those who persecute you speak good of every man manifest the character of the kingdom even in pain give glory never ask god why you'll not be strong that way and then see that the doors of greatness will be opened up to you and you will walk in it gallantly and you will lead nations into that door he said indeed shall all the families of the earth be blessed I believe in my life and I believe in your life and now that God is giving you an opportunity listen a day will come you may not have the opportunity to hear this word because you will now be the leader who will be speaking it to others so now that you have the opportunity to be ministered to listen the Bible says in the days of Samuel when the word was cast blessed be the name of the Lord Yahweh you are bigger than what people say it's bigger than cancer bigger than HIV bigger than tuberculosis Oh yes, bigger than arthritis, bigger than satanic oppression, bigger than delays and setbacks. At his voice, the mountains skip like lambs, and the mighty one is here. 
with a great triumphant voice. Yahweh, you are bigger than what people say. Yahweh, listen, listen. Kapo Sire, my God. Listen, I need you to understand that Satan himself was created by somebody. Are you listening to me? The Satan that people fear and dread, he was a cre he is still a creation. Someone, let me tell you, a creation can never be greater than his creator. Oh, Satan was created at a time T. Satan, and let me tell you, according to the law of science, hallelujah, that everything that is created can be destroyed. Is what was not created that cannot be destroyed. Are you listening to me? Satan is at the very root of every sickness i want to provoke your spirit as we lose this atmosphere for my father to have a convocation through this place you will never 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 go back the same i assure you you will not go back the same hallelujah hallelujah i need you to understand that Jesus Christ is not a little more powerful than Satan. You know, that's our mindset. We think Satan is great, but then Jesus Christ, maybe by two or three points. Are you joking? The Bible says there was war in heaven. He didn't even fight. It was Michael that threw Satan down. When he went to the grave, he said, Holy Spirit, you can go. Come back on the third day. As a man, I can take this guy. Jesus did not go to hell with the Holy Ghost. The real source of his power. He said, this guy is too cheap. Spirit of God, wait. You can come back on the third day. Bible says, if that same spirit that resurrected Christ. Are you listening to me? I'm trying to provoke something in your spirit. Because in life, what you tolerate, you will never change. Too many people justifying sickness, justifying oppression, justifying setbacks. You're not moving forward and you're justifying it. Tonight, there will be an anger in your spirit. And he said, Lord, no way. Tonight, I will hold on to you. Something about my life will be altered for good. Something about my life. Every devil, I don't care what medical name it is called, is a spirit. Cancer is a spirit. HIV is a spirit. Hear me. Tumor is a spirit. Death is a spirit. I don't care what it is called. And the Bible says, wherefore, God had so highly exalted him and given him an identity, a name that is above cancer, above HIV above high blood pressure said at the mention of that name it is a negotiation will happen every knee come on there are some knees that must bow tonight hey. there are some tongues that must confess hallelujah some things must end the woman with the issue of blood came to him. She said, if I may but touch the helm of his garment and she was made whole. There is no impossible situation in this place tonight. Pack up that language of impossibility and kick it out of this place. Inside, outside. Many of you are standing. Stand because your miracle will, will locate you right there. It's like your GSM number. It can't enter two phones. It will get to you by the Spirit. 
Bible says for this purpose the son of God was made manifest that he may destroy put to an end until the lion roars every other animal can claim to be a lion oh but when the lion roars the difference is clear and can I tell you something he that is upon the throne is about to roar in this place like you have not seen oh yes he's about to roar and God will make a caricature out of Satan in your life in a way that will shock you tonight hear me I'm not trying to motivate you I'm not trying I'm provoking something in your spirit don't justify any sickness I don't care what it is don't justify any situation leave it from hand to mouth stop justifying it tonight is the night to press and say Lord for my family enough is enough come on enough is enough that you don't move forward in life no sir that's why God put this miracle service I'm putting a holy anger in your spirit until you get angry with where you are once you keep tolerating where you are let me tell you you will never move forward when a baby is in the womb of the mother for nine months the baby will tolerate that environment after nine months the baby will say time up time up i need a change of environment and brothers and sisters there's got to be a dissatisfaction in your spirit as i prayed and prepared for this meeting i told the lord i said lord i'm angry about some levels in my life and you're going to shoot me like an arrow an arrow and that's why god brought you that's why you're here tonight bible says and jacob wrestled jacob said i won't let you go leaving you is not part of the options until you bless me hello him madonna 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 Isaiah 61. Ah, hello, him. Ah, 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 hello, him. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. My father is changing. Kapo Sotaya. He's healing everything. He's recreating everything. He's transforming everything. I know him. I know him. He's changing everything. By his spirit tonight. God is changing, I tell you. Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me. 
to preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me, these are the categories of people tonight, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, to set them free. And the opening of prisons. Hear me. There are people who are in prisons in this life. All kinds of prisons. What do you call a terminal disease? There are all kinds of prisons. Represented in this place. But the spirit of the sovereign Lord. Like a mighty rushing wind across the length and the breadth of this place inside and outside and for as many who are streaming with us online the spirit of God turning every wilderness to a fruitful vine and every fruitful vine to a forest to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and a day of vengeance there are people that need the justice of God in their life there are people here that need what we call the vengeance of God our families have suffered untold casualties hear me there is a dimension of God called his merciful dimension there's something called the mercy seat but there's something called the judgment throne and hear me tonight there will be a decree of judgment oh I know you don't like this. It's part of his nature. Some there will be a decree of judgment. It's not enough for you to just get healed or get liberated. God, who is just, must he must bring some justice in your family. Many of you will know the judgment. You will see the side of God tonight that will make you afraid. To comfort all who mourn. To appoint unto those who mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes. An oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Said that they might be called the trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord. That he might be glorified. Isaiah 62 verse 1. Let me read a prophecy about what God is. Let me tell you, God is more eager to bless you than you are to receive tonight. Believe me. God is more eager to bless you. 62. I don't know about you, but I'm going to put my name there. For Joshua Selman's sake, I will not hold my peace tonight. And for his sake, I will not rest. Until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness. And thy salvation as a lamb that burneth. Verse 2. He said, and the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness. And all kings thy glory. And thou shalt be called by a new name. That's what the Lord told me. A new song. And a new name. Thou shalt be called by a new name. Which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Verse 3. Thou shalt also be a crown of glory. In the hand of God. A royal diadem. A royal diadem. I believe, I believe, I believe, oh, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe. Do you believe your oppression ends tonight? Do you believe the sickness dies tonight? Do you believe the retrogression ends tonight? Oh, the power of 
God is in this place. allow the Holy Spirit just move in this place I like to just set your heart I need you to realize hear me that what is going to happen to you tonight is really not what God is about to do is the manifestation of what Christ has done in the cross are you listening to me until you realize that it will be difficult for you to receive God is not trying to bring healing. He's trying to enforce in your life the healing that has been established. Hallelujah. Every miracle, every manifestation of the Spirit in this place is on account of the finished work of Christ. Say after me, the finished work. The finished work. Cancer died in Christ. 2,000 years ago HIV died in Christ hear me oppression died in Christ every name every sickness poverty lack retrogression all kinds of challenges died in Christ 2,000 years ago and let me tell you something Satan is not powerful this is a revelation that must be crystallized in your spirit I don't care how many demons you have seen in the realm of the spirit I have seen them and I'm still saying Satan is powerless hear me Satan is only as powerful to the degree to which your ignorance or disobedience permits him to be are you listening to me and so you must realize that is your right in Christ Jesus to receive that which the son of the living God has died for he died for your salvation the word salvation is the Greek word soteria and it's, it's a very pregnant word it doesn't just mean salvation from sickness it means salvation from sin salvation from sickness salvation from poverty total package of redemption the total package of redemption hallelujah for death could not hold him captive even in the grave Jesus is Lord for death for death Jesus no sickness could hold him in hell no oppression could hold him when the gates refused to open there was a cry lift up your heads all ye gates and be ye lifted all ye ancient doors and they asked a question they said who is this king of glory there was a reply he said the Lord Yahweh strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle said the Lord of hosts is his name so I need you to realize hear me you're not fighting with Satan to claim yours to claim your no 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 there's no fight tonight we are stepping upon the established victory of Christ Jesus to receive by faith the fullness of the riches of the benefits of redemption that's why I like that song that says my faith is reaching out to you that you reach out that's all you need to do tonight for that sickness you need to reach out and say thou son of David I believe oh I believe don't start asking questions 
how will the growth disappear how did it come in the first place were you born you've never asked a question how the swelling came why should you ask how it will disappear don't ask how the leg will grow out that's none of your business don't ask how the ears will open that's none of your business that's the dynamics of the spirit the bible says for us you do not know the way of the wing or how bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child so you do not know the way of the lord i'm provoking you tonight i don't care what that challenge is we're going to be stepping by faith there are many of you who have been oppressed by demons demons torment you and oppress you i saw a lot of this in my visions through the week enough is enough are you listening to me the bible says we have been raised up with christ say after me i have been raised up inside outside shout it i have been raised up and i've been made to sit with christ far above cancer say it far above cancer far above infirmity far above causes far above death far above every spirit you are far above epilepsy oh yes so i don't care what sickness it is it's under your feet and you've got to enforce the revelation of the word of god one last scripture luke chapter 10 such a mighty presence of the precious spirit in this place Luke chapter 10 when Jesus sends the 70 frail people with no power in themselves the Bible says they went and they came back with a report verse 17 and the 70 returned again with joy they returned with what they returned with what that's exactly how you are returning back to your destination he said they return with joy they return with joy saying Lord even the demons are subject unto us through thy name and Jesus said something in verse 18 I love it so much he said unto them I beheld I beheld Satan as lightning fall I beheld Satan I beheld cancer I beheld infirmity I beheld poverty I beheld death fall Hallelujah so let your heart be set let your heart be set there are many of you that need miracles in this place that only god can give some of you have come here with your medical reports while we appreciate medicine as a contribution to help humanity i like you to know that there is only one qualified person and he's the king of kings the lord of lords hallelujah to end every tragedy many of you have suffered all kinds of things what people call generational curses all kinds of delays marriage delays financial delays I don't care what it is called tonight but Jesus is Lord in this place and he said if I be lifted up
so God is going to step in in this place the worship people got it precisely they said speak Lord brother sister when he speaks everything will have to obey when he said let there be light the Bible says there was light so when he looks at you and says cancer go it will go when he says favor come it will come when he says increase come it will come it's what God is doing in this place even by his spirit so in one minute I like all of us to raise a cry and tell God why you came here tonight inside and outside come on raise a cry say Lord I have come for the healing of my body Lord I have come for the fibro to die I have come for the migraine to go I have come for my genotype to be changed get angry if doctors say you are SS say Lord that may be their report tonight I'm leaving this place hey, hey. it's none of your business how it will happen go ahead and pray that barrenness will die if you are here and you've not had your child even if you don't have a womb stand up and pray say Lord I celebrate children hallelujah I beheld Satan I beheld Satan as lightning fall I beheld Satan I have beheld Satan I beheld Satan oh enough is enough enough is enough I'm angry in my spirit brothers and sisters enough is enough it's time for you to experience the hand of God it's time for your life to move forward it's time for oppression to end come on express yourself thank you Jesus I see angels in this place great angels many angels inside and outside several kinds of angels several kinds of angels Hallelujah. 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 the Lord touching a lady outside 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 please those outside lift up your hands I want you to bring that lady in this place the power of God is going to come upon a lady right now as I'm speaking of course there will be a ripple effect but if you can locate the first lady please bring her outside a lady Kaparianda kapa soto barikata kabambre kapa sepotoshubaha shekata ne bakosha kata ne 
in Kabarata Meketivala. See a healing miracle. Prakapato se feke pete keti yaha. Pranta baba se kaposufa. Bring the lady here. Kaposo pom preka yaba. Rakatos te brandi. Zikeria tabari enteka. And the kabarada basi keti yaha. Harigete malofa ya. Satan. End your oppression over her life. Right now, I command those evil spirits tormenting you to go, 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 go. Hear me. Now listen, listen. At the count of three, everyone here with a demonic case, whether it's madness, psychosomatism, devils oppressing you hear me the power of god inside and outside oppression will end right now at the count of three i see demons flying around the air at the count of three one two three shake up oppression go go i cast out devils I cast out devils. I cast out devils. Bring them to the front. I cast out devils inside and outside. Inside and outside. Satan, go, 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 go. I need all of them outside. I need all of them outside. There are some people possessed with demons. I command you be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Inside and outside. All kinds of spirits. 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 I command it out of you. Bring the lady. All kinds of spirits. All kinds of spirits. Out of them. 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 All kinds of demon spirits. All kinds of demon spirits. Come out. Come out. Come out. Inside and outside. Abala can't make it over the nose. Come take a Spirits of lust. Come out. Come out. Come out. All kinds of spirits. Out of them. Out of them. Inside and outside. Out of them. Out of them. Those possessed with demons. You are free. Now. Every demon. You know my voice. I sound an alarm in the realm of the spirit. Let God's people go. 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 I see my spirit. Hear me. I see people who are dedicated. I'm seeing some people standing in front of a river line area. A river line area. And being dedicated to some kind of demonic things. Right now. Katoso tepaka, rendo shopo kosupa, ekoria kapaka, rendo sotepaka, rekebashika, amrata bateke te, rekebe 
I command the power of the Holy Ghost that you are free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see a lady who was sent in the occultic realm to come and stop this meeting when I come out to minister. How, how, can, you, how can you think like that? Now, 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 deliverance, now, now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, let that demon go, I set you free, mission fail, mission fail, Come out of fire now! Come out of fire now! Come out of fire now! Come out of fire! Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do, and greater works. Jesus said it, greater works. There's one more lady. There's one more lady. I see the demons around saying they will not let you go. Let that girl go now. 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 The lady is outside. Let that girl go now. Let that lady go now. 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 Let that lady go now. Let that girl go now. I'm waiting for a lady outside. The fire of God, not just the power, the fire of God is what will fall upon that lady. Hallelujah. All of you here, Satan, I'm about to speak to all of you here, and the demons will go now. Come out of them, all of you in front, come out of them. Now, now, I see in the realm of the spirit a snake. I'm not just seeing this lady, I'm seeing a snake. I don't care what you are. Go, 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 go. That wicked, look at what she's doing. I see the way she's behaving. Look at, look at this, look at this. See the way she's behaving like a serpent. See. Oh, fire upon you! Fire upon you! Fire upon you now! Out of her! 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 Come out of her! I set you free. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, we want to see you. We want to hear from you. Emmanuel, Emmanuel,
gonna hear my spirit genotypes right now hear me whether you are ss or as and hear me kapokataya rekotoso peketa inside and outside inside and outside now inside and outside i command your genotype to change now 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 god is giving miracles all over all over all over inside and outside changing genotypes changing genotypes that's what god is showing him changing genotypes there's a surgical operation of the spirit of god changing genotypes changing genotypes Changing genotype. Any heart condition whether it's a hole in the heart if you have any heart condition inside or outside any cardiovascular issue blood circulation issue whatever it is inside and outside i'd like you to lift your hands right now any heart problem i don't care what it is lift up your hands because you're about to receive your liberty hear me God is healing all over even before I mention your case check yourself check yourself you will find out that you're getting healed don't sit back check yourself and run quickly meet the members of the media right here you will testify so check yourself miracles are happening everywhere right now in the name of Jesus every hole in the heart I command you to be closed now in the name of Jesus every blood circulation problem I command you be free from it now in the name of Jesus heart condition be healed check yourselves now check yourselves breathe in and out do what you couldn't do do what you couldn't do there are healings i'm seeing it many of you are getting healed right now members of the media let them see you so that they can register their testimonies as many of you who are receiving miracles walk up to the ushers or the members of the media team there are miracles happening right now right now hallelujah hallelujah partial or total blindness if you're totally blind inside and outside or partially blind right now there are some of you that are not seeing me clearly but the moment i pray the power of god will come and 2020 vision will be restored believe me it will happen right now hallelujah just one shout inside and outside we are going to shout the name jesus lay your hands on your eyes if you have any issue of eyesight uh, eye problem just believe you'll be surprised right now many of you as you shout jesus your sight will be restored inside and outside locate the people the ushers immediately make sure you check yourself are you ready to shout at the count of three we're going to shout and i see rapid angelic activities already in the realm of the spirit one two three Perfect vision restored. Perfect vision. Perfect.
perfect vision. Perfect vision. Be restored. Hallelujah. Epilepsy. It's what I hear my spirit. Epilepsy. Does anyone make sure you stand in not just for yourself but for your loved ones? Look at what is happening to this lady. Every devil. I see the spirit of epilepsy upon her. Now, come out of her. Come out of her. She's going to begin to cough out things. She's going to begin to cough out things. She's going to begin to cough out things. She's going to start coughing out things. She's going to begin to cough out things. You are free. That devil, that devil of epilepsy, leave her forever. Everyone with any epileptic issue, inside and outside, right now, I command you, be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free from epilepsy. Be free from epilepsy. In the name of Jesus. You are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are glorious, so glorious in the way. You are glorious, Lord. You are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are powerful, Lord. You are powerful. was brought from Taraba. Please bring him out. The young man who came from Taraba. Is he here? There's a young man who came in. This is not word of knowledge. I got word that there's a young man who came for healing from Taraba. Hallelujah. As soon as you locate him, please let him come. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray for blood diseases. I see a number of people here with HIV AIDS. I see a number of people with um, infections, blood infections quite a number of people as I pray for you right now inside and outside those streaming online and everywhere you can hear my voice oh, okay you are the lady oh you are standing on his behalf he didn't come oh okay that's alright What's wrong with you? Can you help me? That he has three uh, adverse loss reaction due to three poisoning. Okay. Fainting, three poisoning. Stiff neck and so many other uh, problems. Blood poisoning. Uh, poisoning due to drip. Drip. Drip poisoning. Drip poisoning. Okay. He has kidney stones. 
kidney I, stones. Yes, I is fainting and stiff neck. And he said extract her. So okay. Medicine. The doctors asked him to stay back with Joseph. He can't continue. I'm going to pray for you. You are standing on his behalf. And the Lord of glory will touch him. Are you listening to me? Right now, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let him be free. In the name of Jesus, we call him free and we celebrate his liberty. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Blood diseases. Blood diseases right now. Everywhere. You can hear my voice. Every blood infection. I don't care what it is. From HIV to any other kind of blood infection. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Now the last set of people I'm going to pray for. Then I'll just step back a little. Just allow a few ministers to um, just minister as the Spirit will for a while. And then we'll come and just release miracles in mass. And then we'll round up. Hallelujah. Asthma. Janet. Is there a lady called Janet in this place? Inside or outside? Kapo Sopariaka. Kateko Tosubai. Mam to reke bai. Reka talianta. Reke te bariaka te. Barate basi meke te ya. Koto soperia. Harenda sopo shakaba. Shipandi le bo shakatani peke te. Pata to sopeke te shakatani. Janet, Janet, Janet. Your Janet. What's wrong with you? Can we have the mic? Are you well? I see. Do you have any problem with asthma or any breath problem? Yes. Please look hello, look at me. Can you talk? You're talking to the audience. Do you have any what's the problem? Explain it to us. Sometimes my heart used to beat very, very fast. Your heart used to beat. And my body becomes very weak. You have irregular heartbeats. That's what I'm seeing. Sometimes it looks like you are passing out. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Right now. Are you listening to me? Yes. Not later. Yes. Right now. You're going to be free. Look at me. Have I met you? Have we discussed on this? Have we discussed? The Lord brought you out right now. Right now you're going to be free. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands. That devil, leave her now. In the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, asthma. No, 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 we're going to pray in mass. But since you have come out, in the name of Jesus, look at me. See, the power of God is moving through your body. My God. I see a devil. It's not just asthma. It's a demonic oppression. Come on. How dare you come close to me, Satan? Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. And be free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just let her see the power of the Holy Spirit upon her totally free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Asthma. Kapo Satabariakata. Every kind of asthmatic condition. Hear me. The moment I pray for you, I like you to breathe in and out as hard as you can and do what you couldn't do. You will find out that you'll be healed instantly. There's an anointing for asthma. Asthma inside and outside. Are you ready now? Are you ready now? In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command asthma be healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus, inside and outside, be healed. In the name of Jesus, now check yourself. Begin to breathe in and out. You find out that you are healed right now. Right now, I see two ladies 
in the auditorium. Being healed right now. Two ladies, at least in the auditorium. Being healed instantly of asthma. Hallelujah. Look at me, friends. I need you to know that there is only one personality who deserves to be glorified in this place. Are you listening to me? Every of these manifestations are only but acts of God's grace and mercy through human vessels. There is no champion in this place. There is no celebrity in this place. There is only one who deserves. His name is Jesus. I like you to shout his name. Jesus! Shout his name. Jesus! Inside and outside. Shout his name. experiencing over a long period of time excess flu of blood it's not usual it's a disease excess flu of blood through your life excess flu flu out of your system where are you just lift up your hands it's a disease it's a disease excess flu of blood coming out of your system coming out of your body out of your woman i declare supernatural healing for you right now that lady there i declare in the name of jesus that that blood rise up now in the name of the lord jesus i declare that the power of the holy ghost comes upon you right now and that blood stops flowing right now in the name of the lord jesus I see in my vision a woman who needs a baby. I see a woman who came here in need of a baby. Where are you? Inside, outside. I like you to come. A woman who came here in need of a baby. Where are you? Come. I'm seeing in my vision a woman who needs a baby. Carry the baby. Come. Come. Mommy, I want you to know that Jesus is a miracle worker. And we stand here by the word of the Lord. We declare to you right now that the Lord gives you a baby now, supernaturally, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I see you celebrating with your baby now, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I declare that you take in supernaturally and bring for that baby in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I will see the Lord gives you a son. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hold on, hold on. I hope every one of you standing is married. You're standing in for your auntie. How about you, my dear? You're married. All right. I declare a release of a baby for you now. I release this miracle to you. Take it in the name of Jesus. We declare that you give birth to a baby supernaturally in the name of the Lord Jesus. Well, hold on. I won't see that the challenge is not with you. I know it's a social reason, but I see that it has to do with your husband. Am I correct? Am I correct? I see that the problem is not basically with you, but it has to do with your husband. But nonetheless, I declare a miracle. I declare supernatural healing. I declare that a baby be given to you and even more children in the name of the Lord Jesus. Take it in Jesus' name and for you we declare that whoever you're standing for receive a baby in the name of Jesus. We declare it so in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a little child. I see a little child around the age of five. I don't know, but I believe that is somebody's family member here, a little child around the age of five having certain challenge that has to do with his bone. A male that affects his ability to walk. It has something to do with his bone. 
if I'm speaking about your brother or your nephew, I'd like you to just lift up your hands. I see the angel of the Lord bringing a miracle right now. Who is that person? Just lift up your hands. The Lord is bringing a miracle. Is your brother around age five? Okay, I declare in the name of Jesus that the Lord gives him a miracle. I declare that his bones are healed supernaturally in the name of Jesus. I see someone you're standing in for a relative, I believe, an auntie. Your Yoruba, she has fibroid. This person you're standing for has fibroid. And you're Yoruba. Who is the person? You're standing, you came in trusting the Lord to heal your auntie. She has fibroid. Your sister. Your relative, your sister. I declare a supernatural release right now. I declare that she's healed in the name of Jesus. I release that miracle to her. I declare that fibroid is gone supernaturally. And you return with a testimony in the name of Jesus. Okay, I also declare the same miracle for you. I declare supernatural healing for that relative in the name of Jesus. I declare that she is healed and delivered from fibroid in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare it so for you. I declare healing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Fibroid is gone by the anointing of the Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus. Put your hands on your eyes. I see the Lord wanting to heal your eyes. As I pray for you, you're going to check your vision and tell us, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I declare that our vision is healed and restored. I release the healing power of God. You are healed now in the name of the Lord Jesus. You're healed in the name of the Jesus. Check it. Check your vision has been healed and restored. Check it. Just look what you couldn't do before. Check do what you couldn't do before. Just check your vision is healed right now. Check it here and then you tell us. I see someone, your father works, he does an industrial work. And then as a result of that, he has had certain challenge upon his health that came due to exposure to the nature of his work. And it has been a serious concern to your family. I don't know what that infirmity is. But I'm seeing that person represented here. Your father contacted a challenge with his health as a result of his work. Where you just lift up your hands. You are inside, you are outside. Just lift up your hands. The Lord is bringing his power there in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare that your father is healed. Whatever challenge that come, came upon his life as a result of that industrial exposure. I declare supernatural healing to him right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I see a brother. I see the Lord says there's a work of deliverance that God will begin to do in your family. The brother is sitting close to you, sitting close to you. I'd like you to lift up your hands. I see the Lord says the spirit of the warrior comes upon you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. I declare that the deliverance of the Lord come to your household right now. I declare that the spirit of the warrior come upon you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Jessica, please, I want to pray for you. I hear the Lord says, my trumpet of jubilee is sounding over your family. I hear God says I'm bringing a restoration I hear God says I'm bringing a restoration for there has been a conniving I see a connivance I see conspiracy that has been over your family over your father over your father particularly for many years but God says I'm bringing deliverance wherever he is and I'm bringing restoration God says your family will yet know joy in the name of the Lord Jesus God says he will perfect your mom he said he will perfect all that concerns her. He says he will perfect her health in the name of the Lord Jesus. I see many hands being stretched forth towards you to help you. And God says, for my light is upon you for favor. For my light is upon you for favor. I see a little child 
I see the spirit of infirmity come upon this child, but the Lord says there's healing tonight. A little child in your family, a little child. I see the spirit of infirmity come, but the Lord says there's healing tonight. Father, we give you praise. We declare it turn around by your spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, it shall be here. No, not you. Shadi, Shadi, our minister and her husband. If they are here, please let them come. I see the Lord showing me things about them. Father, we give you praise. We bless you, Jesus. We give you praise. We bless you, Jesus. We give you praise. God says for me to tell you that I have it all planned out for you. God says when he brought your, you and your husband together, he has it planned out for you. I see the Lord taking you. I see the both of you standing in a strange land. I see the both of you ministering, preaching the gospel of Jesus. And I will hear many people say that if in your house is deliverance. And I hear God say he brings upon you in a new way the spirit of sin. And God says deliverance are yet come to many in the name of Jesus. For I see many marching to your house and say, That is the altar of the Lord, for your house shall be called a house of prayer. I see many coming to your house for prayer. I see many coming to your house for prayer. And God says, I bring my fire upon your altar today, upon your altar in the name of the Lord Jesus. I see the Lord mention the name Kogi State. And I see the Lord mention the place Akure. I don't know what that means to you. But I see that your feet will be established in that place. And in that place will be a chosen instrument for the Lord. In the name of Jesus. I don't know, but I'm hearing the name Dili. Your Dili or Dili is part of your name. Dili, I'm hearing the name Dili. Just come quickly. Dili is part of your name. Dili, I'm hearing the Lord. Give me the word Dili. For you daily, I hear the Lord says, you begin to do a new thing in your life and even in your family. I hear God says, I'm even extending, I'm attending to that financial situation in your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I see the Lord reaching out even to touch your mom. And God says, I perfect her health right now in the name of Jesus. God says, I perfect her health right now in the name of Jesus. I don't know, but I believe the Lord was speaking for him. Be blessed. I release the blessings of the Lord upon your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I see in the vision, I I see like an electric pole, like an electric pole, a cable fall upon somebody. And I see that the enemy intends have you electrocuted I see that the enemy wants to attack somebody through electrocuting and for this person you have had this experience before you, you have been terribly electrocuted at one point of your life terribly electrocuted and I see the enemy bring that to you right now wherever you are just lift up your hands I have that for you in the name of Jesus I declare that that attack from the enemy is averted in the name of the Lord Jesus. I see somebody behind me among the sisters with an abdomen, abdominal pain. I ask right now that let the hand of the Lord touch you. I don't know who you are, but I ask that let the hand of the Lord touch you right now. I declare the healing power of God to you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That lady that came here, that was prayed for, that was convulsing. I see that you have challenge around your tummy area, excruciating pain that even come to you, especially around your monthly circle. I declare that that pain is gone right now. 
I declare that healing come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. genotypes and when apostle was ministering i see the angel of the lord with a healing changing somebody's genotype by the behind a lady's genotype behind there by the left hand side and another lady outside the overflow i see the lord as you leave it just go try do some one or two checkups your test the lord is changing your genotype and you uh stand up during the prayers i see the lord doing a healing in your heart i see the lord doing a healing and i see the lord is an anointing upon you, even for the media again. I see a man to release upon you so strongly upon you, and the Lord said He's going to He's going to confirm that to you tonight. That what the Lord said. Then there's another lady that has HIV. You've been on drugs for some time, but for the past uh, one week you've been feeling. Any time you woke up in the morning to take your drugs, you always feel very disturbed. You always cry. I see a lady. A lady. For the past one week you've been you've been on drug you're not have you are hiv positive you've been on drug for some time but for the past one week you've been having a lot of trouble in taking your drugs i see the lord healing you healing you then also you there you my sister there you i see the lord doing a work in your family over here me i said do a, 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 a work of uh, restoration in your family and the lord says we to speak to me to there's a guy that has a little challenge in the mind. A guy that has been somebody here with a pain on your left knee then another person on your right knee for the one on your right knee when you stand usually when you stand you feel so much pain who is that person please come out okay quickly come out i 
think there are some sets of people you've had um, a doctor's report, not a report from the bank now. Hallelujah. A doctor's report. Doctor's report. A doctor's report. Please, amongst the ones with the doctor's report, specifically somebody with two weeks ago, just roughly two weeks. The doctor's report amongst them, specifically like two weeks ago. Who is that person? Hallelujah. Then there's somebody specific. Please look at me. You have pain just here. For those outside, I hope you can see. Just here. Not exactly on your spinal cord. Just by the side. If you're that person, quickly come out here too. And I began to receive in my spirit that God wants a lot of you to know you've been hearing people say a yeah specifically to you and you've been feeling sorry for yourself and you've been sympathizing for yourself but the Lord wants you to rise <laughs> the Lord wants you to rise hallelujah the Lord wants you to rise those of you with the challenge with the knee please just for those with the doctor's report man of God will pray for you here yeah? knee cases please just put your hands on your knee church stretch forth your hands towards them let's pray hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ, we speak to every knee. We command healing right now. Every knee, we command healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, for the person with the right, the problem of the right leg, I said like healing flowing through your right leg. In the name of Jesus Christ, right now we speak healing to your leg. Healing every pain, let it go. We command it to go. For the person with the pain, back, I command that pain to leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every report, every devilish report you've heard from Satan, the Lord changes it in the name of Jesus Christ. Those that came out for the report, please step forward. Ah, Bala Pam Prom Shakara Patele Gatamana Nabata Banusia. Ila Brado Safataya La Branda Kapata Shakata Ragada Namada Ragada Nebaku Sakaya. Lebrando Sopele Branda Kapata Shakata. Just look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Just, just keep looking. Don't be tired. You don't know what is happening to you. Don't stop. You don't know why I'm telling you to look. Something is happening to you. Charles, look at my eyes. Just look. Look at my eyes. Just keep looking at me. says I should tell you that I have set my eyes on you are you listening to me the Lord says for me to tell you I have set my eyes upon you medical report or no medical report I call you home totally free now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah you need to be very serious with the Lord you can't be one leg in and one leg out and expect Satan not to oppress you. Does this make sense what I'm saying? Does it make sense? Just yes or no? Are you listening to me? You can't be one leg in and one leg out and expect Satan not to get you. The things that I would want to do, I do not find myself doing. 
But the things that I don't want to do, I find myself doing. And Paul lamented and said, O wretched man I am who shall deliver me from the body of death. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I set you free. In the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. and outside just lift your right hand only your right hand only your right hand only your right hand just do what I'm telling you to do only your right hand and I'm going to count four at the count of four there are certain people at the count of four there are certain people listen the power of God is going to sweep inside and outside and this right hand is a scepter of an unusual level of dominion. Get ready. One, two, three, four. Now, inside and outside. Inside and outside. On your right hand. Inside. Outside. Inside. Outside. It's an impartation. Supernatural dimension. Unusual kingdom authority. Unusual kingdom authority. Just keep your right hands lifted up. Keep your right hands lifted up. Keep your right hands lifted up. Kingdom authority. Step into it. Kingdom authority. According to the vision given unto me, let it be confirmed in this realm. I call it forth from the heavens. At the back, get ready. At the back, it will sweep like fire. At the back, get set right now. Outside, outside, it's going to be like a boat of electricity. Outside, I see angels outside. Say you will strengthen my right hand. Hallelujah. I see the number 36 in the spirit. There are 36 of you. Real fire. Listen, hear me. Hear me now. Fire, I mean physical, literal fire will come upon you right now. 36 of you. Now, now, receive it. 36 of you. Fire, literal fire. 36 of you. I saw it in the spirit. 36 people. 36 people. Literal fire. Physical fire. 36 people. Inside and outside. At the word of the Lord, 36 people inside and outside. Oh, let the fire burn! Let the fire burn! For some of you, it's burning the chaff of habits. For some of you, it's setting your spirit on fire. We have to do this really fast. Hallelujah. 11 people will receive a supernatural lead.
leadership mandate. 11 people. 11 people. I'm seeing the number in my spirit. Hallelujah. For those who hear me, tell me on your tummy and the whole of your head, you will literally feel that they are dropping something. A very, very hot substance. Now, please, don't just come out. We are not just, I'm just doing what the Lord is showing me. 11 people. Hallelujah. We are going to shout Jesus. And these 11 people, such a dramatic power of God will come on you. 11 people. Let's shout Jesus. One, two, three. my spirit laughter hear me laughter in the spirit it will break out in a supernatural way I don't know why God is doing this laughter in the spirit laughter in the spirit Lord we release it now now hey now laughter in the spirit laughter in the spirit ay 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 it's a sign of victory. It's a symbol of victory. <laughs> Hallelujah. We have to hurry up. Now, hear me. I want to speak over your finances. Now, this, this is for everybody. Hear me. I just sense like cold water come upon my head. And the Lord said, that's the anointing. Release it. I don't want you to take this opportunity for granted. Brothers and sisters, God is going to change people's finances if I be a servant of God. If Jesus is Lord in this place, under this unction, Kaladina Makabosikata. 
I'm going to shout one word. As I shout one word, miracles of financial increase, debt cancellation will erupt. Everybody be humble enough to receive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just going to shout what I see in my spirit inside and outside. Change. 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 That's what God said I should shout. Change. Change. I fuck it. Change. Change. Over your finances. Change. Change. Make a barrier. Natural, inexplainable level. If I be a servant of God right now, under this unction, this atmosphere of the Spirit of God, change, 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 outside, change, change. Receive the favor of the from Gentiles. Change for your family. Change for your family. Change for your family. Change. Change. Let translation. I release the miracles of that translation. That translation. in your academics every student here yeah, now is the time to change your status lift your hands inside and outside oh it's not by power don't let any man fool you it's not by might for death works in us that life will walk in you Kaposo tope riakata, ran teke teke tebaka, baso porukasa. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command you increase in your academics, break new grounds. I command, be the best, be the best, be the best. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I command now a supernatural dimension of intelligence. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Right here. I command the release of first class students. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Every 
every other sickness represented in this place that we did not mention you came for miracle service come out you came for miracle service every sickness every infirmity represented right here in this holy and sanctified atmosphere right now be healed in the name of Jesus outside be healed in the name of Jesus cancer die in the name of Jesus my grave die in the name of Jesus fibroid go in the name of Jesus blinded Hallelujah. That's what God is doing in this place. Hallelujah. The last thing that I'll do is to prophesy all round increase. All round increase. Amen. Listen. I know that we trivialize and we casualize things because we just speak, receive, and move forward. I don't do anything except the Lord shows me. Hallelujah. A miracle service is put to upgrade your life, my brother. It's meant to upgrade your life. Therefore, inside and outside, release your faith one last time. As I send this prophetic word, into your destiny and isaac said of jacob he said the smell of my son is like the field that the lord has blessed therefore right now under this supernatural unction of the spirit inside and outside my brothers and my sisters let me tell you there is an anointing that brings increase don't let any man fool you you can try you can sweat you can calculate but there is an anointing he said because thou lovest righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god has anointed you with the oil of gladness above thy fellows and in the name of jesus i command increase on every side Increase on every side. Amen. Increase on every side. Amen. In your finances, increase. Amen. In your relationship, increase. Amen. In your academics, increase. Amen. In your spiritual life, increase. Amen. In your ministry, increase. Amen. In your business, increase. Amen. In your plans and goals, increase. Amen. In your groups and fellowships, increase. Amen. I release it upon your life. 
a signature that symbolizes the hand of God. Therefore, let there be a mark of greatness upon everyone under the sound of my voice. You are tonight from tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost. You are marked for supernatural greatness. You are marked for supernatural greatness. I don't care what your family background is. Hear me. I don't care what it, the name of your village is. I don't care what has been spoken over your life. Every decree that is against the decree of the world over your life and destiny from tonight be free in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are free from your past in the name of Jesus. You are free from stagnation. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Make progress. Break new ground. None of you is permitted to remain where you are. Go forward. Go forward. Every Red Sea standing in front of you. Everything that symbolizes a mountain of impossibility under this unction of the spirit right now i command be free go forward every oppression over your family that will not let them enjoy everything jesus died for tonight i command for your families step into a higher realm in the name of Jesus. Every member of your family who does not have a job, I don't care what the person's qualification is. If God be King of Kings and Lord of Lords, I release miracle jobs now. For yourself and for your loved ones receive it in the name of jesus and every of your family members that is due for promotion and has been kept back i don't care what the limitations are right now in the name of jesus we promote them Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to come against marital delay. Delay relationships and marriage. Hear me. Inside and outside. According to Isaiah 34, verse 16, it says, Seek out of the book of the Lord and read. None of these things shall fail. He said, None shall want her mate, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Right now, I declare, there are many of you that your loved ones at home are uh, they are advanced in age, and there's no one to get married to them, and they're giving all kinds of nonsense explanations. For it came to pass that on that day Esther passed the king once. When she passed the king once, that she obtained favor. Let me tell you something. No barrenness shall be found in this camp. So hear me. Right now, under the unction of the spirit, supernatural marriages, supernatural relationships, Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hear me. Don't let the devil fool you and make you think this is not necessary. I said receive it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. For 
I see a family of four and I see another family of six ladies none of you are married hear me if God be God an end comes to this oppression tonight in the name of Jesus until the spirit be poured out from on high and then the wilderness be counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine for a forest and every other request that you came here with hear me inside and outside i don't care what your needs are many of us came with different kinds of requests right now i pray that you receive solution to every problem whatever challenge you came here with we end it here in the name of jesus in the name of jesus very quickly listen inside and outside everyone who can hear my voice you've not made jesus lord of your life please let me have some space here this is the greatest miracle all of these signs and wonders and miracles are for a reason the bible says for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son said that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life he said come unto me all ye that are weary and heavy laden and i i alone will give you rest there are so many of us seated here outside and some of us passing some listening from our homes you need jesus christ enough of struggling with sin enough of struggling with the flesh enough of being a victim of the oppressions of satan and right now i'm going to invite you i like all of us to rise up on our feet as we honor this great salvation inside and outside for jesus the lord of your life i like you to run inside right now you want to make jesus lord of your life come on inside and outside we are waiting for you appreciate them as they come enough is enough appreciate them every one of them let them find their way jesus is the way appreciate them as they come inside and outside inside and outside don't stay back he's calling you come on appreciate them we love you welcome home inside and outside harden not your heart Jesus is calling. Please ushers help the people outside as they join this loving family of victorious people. How long will you struggle with the Holy Spirit? Jesus is calling. Jesus is calling. Appreciate them as they come. Come to Jesus. Leave your seat and run to Jesus Christ. He's the only hope. The only one. Every other plan will fail. The Holy Spirit is still convicting more people. Don't stay back. Harden not your heart. Run to Jesus Christ. We are still waiting for a few. We are still waiting for a few. Young and old. Come on. Leave your seat. I see a number of people outside who should be inside. By the Spirit of God, I call you to come forward. I call you to come forward. By the Spirit of God, I appreciate them. They are coming. Those of you outside, I see the Lord showing me people. By the Spirit of God, I call you. I call you by the authority of the Spirit. I call you by the authority of the Spirit. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above the earth, Jesus is the way. Hallelujah. Now look at me. Hallelujah. I want to congratulate every one of you. 
for coming here. Hallelujah. Look at me. I hope you came here by revelation and understanding. Hallelujah. That you need Jesus Christ. I don't care what it is you have done. Are you listening to me? No one condemns you. There is love in this place. Are you listening to me? For the Son of God did not come into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. John 3, 17. I pray for you right now. Hallelujah. That the power of sin and Satan over your life be broken. Now I'd like you to say after me. Dear Lord Jesus. I'd like you to. It's not a special number. It's a very serious destiny dedication. Are you listening to me? Say after me. Dear Lord Jesus. I believe in you. I believe you came to the earth. You suffered for my sin. You died for me. You resurrected for me. I've been living my life by my own strength. But tonight, I lay it all down. And I accept you as Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I denounce sin and Satan. I declare that I'm born again. I'm a child of God. I have the resurrection life living inside of me. I'm a member of the family of God. And I declare that my life will bring you glory in the name of Jesus appreciate them for this wonderful wonderful miracle hallelujah I pray that the Lord will keep and preserve you spirit of the living God I commend these ones to you you are the only faithful caretaker who can take care of the inheritance of the father I commend these ones to you the staying power against sin and against Satan against diseases and all oppressions of Satan in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah congratulations now I'd like you to do something very quickly just rise up congratulations every one of you thank you for making this wonderful and very glorious decision I'd like you to just follow the ushers they'll have your information and we'll just follow you up as the week goes by appreciate them it's a glorious miracle Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come. Okay, I got, let me pray for you. I got your. Let her go. Now. Let her go by the authority of the Spirit of the Living God. Mm, I see movement in your body. Interesting. I bring you life, healing, power by the Spirit of God. For you and for your loved ones, you are free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salmon and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus I'll see you again bye